Hey guys, what is going on? So basically today, Kyler Murray's agent put out like a legit essay. It's very, very long and I'm going to read it to you guys in case you guys don't want to read it. But here we go. It's a statement from Kyler's agent, Eric Burkhart. Kyler wants to be direct with loyal Arizona Cardinal fans and the great community of the Valley in stating his two very important goals and objectives. In bold, number one, he absolutely wants to be your long-term QB. Two, also in bold, he desperately wants to win the Super Bowl. And in bold text, achieving both goals will take incredible commitment from himself and the entire organization. Despite all of Kyler's energy being focused on the future, he is very proud of the franchise's extreme turnaround and competitiveness and success since his arrival. Alongside his teammates and coaches, a successful and valuable foundation for the organization has been built. The team in Kyler's individual three-year track record of undisputed and increasingly positive results while under the extremely challenging circumstances of walking into a three-win team with a last-ranked offense in the toughest division in football speaks for itself. The Cardinals are the only franchise in the NFL to have improved by three or more wins in each of the last three seasons. Kyler was tasked with stepping into a tough situation and named the starter on day one of his arrival. He has delivered and exceeded all reasonable expectations along the way in winning NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year, followed by back-to-back Pro Bowls in the ultra-competitive and QB-loaded NFC. Looking ahead, Kyler believes that in order to consistently compete for championships and ultimately deliver the Valley their first Super Bowl in 33-plus years, there needs to be long-term stability for both the organization and himself. To overtly communicate Kyler's desire to be the Cardinals' long-term QB, we sent a detailed contract proposal to the organization. It was important to Kyler that his proposal reflected all of the following, provides financial protection, is in line with the current QB market that compares his results alongside relevant comps, lowers his 2022-23 salary cap number to allow the Cardinals to re-sign other deserving teammates and add additional free agents, and most importantly, represents a real commitment from the organization to see if their ultimate goals align with his two above, in parentheses, consistently competing for championships and Kyler being their QB. And then this next part is in bold. This next sentence is in bold. Actions speak much louder than words in this volatile business. End bold. It is now simply up to the Cardinals to decide if they prioritize their rapidly improving 24-year-old already two-time Pro Bowl QB who led the organization from three wins before his arrival to 11 wins and their first playoff appearance in five years. Or rather, if they choose to financially prioritize committing to other areas and continuing to merely talk about addressing Kyler's long-term future as their QB. Unfortunately, every player, coach, and executive in the NFL knows, or should know, that words and hypothetical contractual promises are regularly dismissed and fleeting in the business. This last part is in bold, guys. Kyler remains hopeful that the organization chooses to commit so that he can continue leading the Cardinals to further success and value for many years to come. Okay, wow. That was, that was a lot. I just want to say, I hope I didn't miss anything when reading this because this font was really hard to read. And I was like, I hope I'm not like missing lines by just like not being able to follow the lines. I should have, should have gone across with my finger like this because this font was difficult to read. So basically, I think this letter, this essay, this post, whatever you want to call it, is saying... Kyler wants to get paid and he wants to get paid like right now. And if you like Kyler and you want Kyler to be your quarterback... You got to pay him now, Cardinals. You got to get this new contract out there now, Cardinals. I think that's what this is saying. It's honestly a little surprising that he already feels like he should have a new contract because he was drafted in 2019. Like he he's not that deep into his career. And I just this just makes me think what is going on behind the scenes? Because now it just seems like something is definitely going on behind the scenes with him in the Cardinals. Like there's got to be, there's got to be something going on. I would love to know what is going on, but there's got to be like, this is just weird. Have you guys ever seen this before? Have you guys ever seen an athlete or their agent come out and be like, yes, hello world. We are going to write this letter saying, I would like to get paid now. This is this is what's going on. It makes sense for the situation with all the back and forth and the rumors and the reports that have been happening with the Cardinals. Basically, Kyler wants to get paid. And if the Cardinals don't want to pay him, Kyler's going to be unhappy and maybe want to leave in free agency if or if they don't give him the contract that he wants. That's that's the vibe I get from this. If I'm the Cardinals, you got to pay Kyler like you got to pay Kyler. This team 
has been so much better with Kyler on it. He's a huge reason why this team was winning games. And like it said in the letter, you know, Pro Bowl quarterback. What's funny about this essay or letter, whatever you want to call it, is it reminds me of those essays we would write in high school where the teachers would be like, okay, you have to argue a point and you have to have your evidence in there. And then the agents literally like that, you know, two time, two time Pro Bowl quarterback, you know, you know, he was in a very tough position, but he, he led this team to a better record once he stepped in as quarterback, um, you know, laying, laying all the, laying all the facts out there. Kyler is going to get paid. If it's not by the Cardinals, it's going to be by someone else. He's going to get, I would say, like top five QB money, in my opinion. He is. Because if you think about the way like the market goes, as time goes on, contracts get higher. So, you know, the longer the Cardinals wait, I think the higher the price is going to be. The only thing that concerns me a little bit is, you know, injuries. And that's that's always the thing why, you know, players want to get those long term contracts on is they want the protection. And Kyler is someone who has dealt with injuries, um, has had some issues staying healthy, and he's just got to protect himself better when he's out there, honestly, um, because he is a smaller guy. He is a mobile quarterback, but he is smaller, and um, we saw it this past year with the ankle and stuff. He's got to protect himself better, but he he is going to get top top QB money if he, if he is able to stay healthy or at least play like the majority of the games in a season, like, you know, maybe miss only one game a season or something. And if the Cardinals don't want to pay Kyler Murray top dollar, I'm sure there are a lot of teams out there that would pay Kyler Murray a lot of money and would trade picks to get him from Arizona. Like, think about the team like the Colts that are a quarterback away. Think about what they would do to get Kyler Murray. Because you think about a team like the Rams last season who were a quarterback away. They trade those picks for Matt Stafford. And then they go and win the Super Bowl. I'm not saying that would happen, you know, if the Colts traded for him or even if he's going to get traded. But there are teams that are in that position where they're like, we really need a quarterback who would trade and pay this 24 year old quarterback a ton of money. He is young. He's mobile. He has the accuracy like he has all the tools you want. Like I said, the only thing that's a little concerning is their injuries. But. This is just, I'm just surprised, I guess, at this letter. I feel like we haven't seen this before. Like a player's agent just coming out and saying, hello, we would like to get paid now. Now, we would like to get paid now, Cardinals. And like, if you like, if you like Kyler, you will pay him now. If you want Kyler to be your quarterback, you will pay him now. That's, that's basically what this letter is saying. This, that's basically what this letter is saying. And if the Cardinals decide not to, you know, engage in contract talks with Kyler now, I, I don't know what what's going to happen. Like he he and his agent seem like they want that contract now, like before next season starts now. I I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, Kyler can't can't perform in the playoffs. Look at look at how they collapsed last season, late in the season. I think that's more on Cliff than anybody, to be totally honest with you. If you, if you even look back to his time at Texas Tech, this man just doesn't perform in the second half of the season. He's like it's like an animatronic, you know, like first half of the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second half of the season. Hmm. Just powers down. If you're the Cardinals, you need to prioritize Kyler. You really do because he's the center of this team. He's the star of this team. Without Kyler, this Cardinals team is not making the playoffs next season. Like this, this Cardinals team is totally different without Kyler. They're not a good team without Kyler. You know you need a good quarterback to win games in the NFL. You need one of those top quarterbacks to win games in the NFL. And if that means the Cardinals need to get rid of Cliff, they need to get rid of Cliff to to like you know see Kyler's full potential because if Cliff just continues to coach the way he is and they keep just collapsing at the end of the season, you gotta, you gotta move on and you gotta see, okay, what can we get from Kyler in the second half of the season with a different coach? So this is really interesting. I don't, I don't know if he's going to be traded. It's too early to tell. I feel like he doesn't want to be traded, but he wants the new contract. And then what are the, what is the Cardinals reaction going to be to this? Are they going to be like, Oh, we don't like that. You just put this out there. Like, why, why are you doing that? I don't know. Like, it, it, we got to see what the Cardinals' reaction is to this now, how much they want to pay him, if Kyler likes that number. And yeah, but we should definitely, you know, keep our eye on this. So that is it for this video, guys. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. Peace.